Very nice to have you here in studio. We wanted to give you a taste of what it's like going to be in an arena again. Thank you. Feels, uh, feels good. It feels, feels good. good. I yeah. missed it. I missed you it. missed that. Uh, you had your first uh, preseason game. You didn't play. Did not. But you guys uh, played against the Lakers, so it's officially starting up again. How are you feeling? I feel great. It was uh, it was it was crazy to like come out. You know, we had fans during the playoffs, but it was still felt different. You know, like the benches are all spread apart, or our seats on the benches were spread apart, and now they're just like. Two months later, they're like, no, okay, well, let's get everybody back together. Let's sell those tickets like next to the bench. So it was just good to be out there again, you know? Uh, as a veteran, how important is preseason basketball to you? It's, uh, it's necessary. Okay. But, um, to get, you know, playing a game that doesn't count, is, uh, it's, it's always a little weird. But it's, it's just nice to, like, after doing training camp and scrimmaging against your teammates the whole time, it's nice to play against other people. You joined the Nets uh, halfway through last season. Mm -hmm. uh, you had a chance then to sign a contract anywhere. You chose to stay in New York. I know you spent a lot of time here. It's your first time playing here. Mm -hmm. How have you enjoyed it so far? Uh, it was great, man. It was it was nice to I, you know I had that that stint last year and and really got to know the organization. You never really know until you actually spend time there. And top to bottom, everybody in the organization is is incredible, from the owners down to to the players, the staff, everything. So um, that was that was a reason. Also, the fans here in New York are unbelievable. Um, so it, it was a, it was a no brainer for me. So it's kind of crazy the level of talent and fame on this team. Uh, Kyrie, Durant, Harden, yourself. Uh, you're a vet, as we've established, but you were, you know, new to this team. Mm -hmm. Do they haze you at all? Is there any, like, you're the new guy, or do they kind of, do you have the respect that comes with being someone who's been a multi-time All-Star? No, since since it was like 12, I've been in the NBA for 12 years now, I, I actually got to skip the hazing part. We keep that for the rookies, but it's it's light, it's fun. It's like, yeah. carry a door of the Explorer backpack, that's what I had to do. Or when you were a rookie, you had to carry a Dora the Explorer backpack? Everywhere we went, I carried a pink Dora the Explorer backpack <laughs> into the arena, hotels, <laughs> but everywhere. Um, so that, that's that's the type of stuff we do. But I would all. imagine, I, I'm surprised there was one that would even fit on your back. Well, you, you undo the strap all the way. <laughs> okay, gotcha. you, just, you throw it on one shoulder. <laughs> And I would always just put one shoe in there. All right, gotcha. Yeah, I would imagine <laughs> yeah. that's about all you could fit. <laughs> yeah. uh, one thing I also want to ask about being a 12-year vet mm. is you get to know the referees. Mm. Um, and you, uh, you sort of have a reputation for someone who's like uh, going to talk a little trash to the refs. Uh, but there are times we've seen you actually laugh at what a ref has said back to you. What's happening in those moments? Uh, my, my relationship with refs, have, have, has, it's been a rocky one. Um, uh, like a few years back, I had a, a a camp for kids, and I had to ref one of the one of the kids' games, and I was doing so bad that even the seven year olds were yelling at me, <laughs> and that's when I like realized I should like be easier on the refs. And um, now it's just like I play kind of two games a night where I'm like playing basketball, but I'm also trying to make the meanest ref laugh. Uh -huh. So I'm just working out ref based puns <laughs> you know, before the game, like the you know watching film, but also going over some jokes. Um, but it's, I don't know, it's, it's, it's great. It's, they have such a hard job, such a hard job. Every, no matter what, somebody's going to hate you. Half the, half the audience is going to hate you, so. Yeah, and I would imagine, too, again, having to basically police people who are beloved and famous <laughs> is a really tough job to have. It, uh, it, it can't be easy, and, and the, the best ones, man, are the ones where, like, if they, like, mess up, they're like, ah, I messed up that one. Because it's, like, it's all happening so fast. And they're just trying their best. And um, if you, any of you refs are watching, uh, I'm so sorry. I will try to do better this season. But, you know, we all mess up. I like that you, uh, you realized it refing a camp. Mm -hmm. Because I went, after I left, I went and I hosted SNL. And hosting SNL, I immediately had, I felt like I wanted to go back to all the hosts that I had worked with over the years and apologize to them. Because any time a host didn't want to do something mm -hmm. that we wrote for them, I thought, you don't know. And yeah. then I went back and I'm like, oh, no, they knew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's basically my relationship with the refs in a nutshell. You guys get to tip off against the Bucks, uh, mm -hmm. the world champs. Does it make it a little more exciting? I mean, obviously it's a long season and you can't get too high or low, I would imagine, for specific games. But does opening night have an extra element of excitement when you do something like that? Uh, yeah, it is. It, it, Opening night is always just fun, just because it's just just the start of a new season. You don't know where you're going to go. Also, playing the defending champions, it kind of sucks because you have to sit there and watch them get their rings. <laughs> um, so it's you know, it's it's it, there's that aspect, but you know they deserved it. They they grueling season last season and came out on top. So uh, it'll be it'll be fun. 
Does it, I mean, you mentioned everybody being back. Does it seem like for the first time in two years, oh, this is going to be the kind of basketball season that I was used to before the pandemic hit? I hope so. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the playoffs felt pretty normal. Uh, but like I said, there were still a few things. Like last night's game in, in, in L.A. felt very normal besides being a preseason game. So hopefully we're, we're back and, and, you know, people get vaccinated and, and come to games. And